Hi, I'm Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the fuel tank grommet on an Echo trimmer. The fuel line grommet creates a seal between the fuel lines and the fuel tank. Because it's made of rubber, eventually it'll begin to deteriorate and crack, at which time it'll need to be replaced. Replacing it is easy to do, and we're going to show you how. Fuel line grommets, as well as many other parts, can be found on our website. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the air filter cover and the air filter. I'm doing this mainly so you can see what we're doing a little better, but it'll also free up a little more room for you to work. Before we remove any of the fuel lines from either the carburetor or the fuel tank, you'll want to make sure that you've drained the gas from the fuel tank. Otherwise, it will leak as the fuel in the tank tends to be slightly pressurized. I've already drained the fuel, so we can go ahead and move on. We'll begin by removing the fuel filter. Take off the gas cap, and here I have a piece of wire that I bent to a hook. I'll use that to fish the fuel line out of the tank. Now I can pull the fuel filter away from the fuel line. And I'll be sure to remove the ring clamp that's on the line as well. Now I'll remove the three lines that go through the fuel tank grommet. And now I can remove the grommet itself. I like to use a small screwdriver to help me pull it from the tank. Here I have our new fuel tank grommet. To make installation a little easier, I like to put a little two-cycle oil around the edge of the grommet. This will make it slide into the tank easier. And again, I'll use my small screwdriver to help insert it into the tank. Now I can reinstall the fuel lines into our new grommet. You'll notice that our vent line has an angle cut on the end of the fuel line, and that makes it easier to thread it through the grommet. I'm going to go ahead and cut an angle like that on the other two lines as they don't already have it. Now I use a little bit of two cycle oil to lubricate the ends of the all three lines, and that'll make it easier to slide them through the grommet. I'll slide the vent line through the grommet. I want to work these lines in far enough so I don't have excess slack, so they might kink. That looks good. Now I'll move on to the incoming fuel line. And last, the return fuel line. This is a little bit larger line, so it could be a little trickier to get it started. There we go. We'll finish up by reinstalling the fuel filter. Again, I'll use my hook to pull the fuel line out of the tank. I'll go ahead and cut the end of the fuel line flush, removing that angle that we cut earlier. I'll slide the ring clamp over the fuel line. I want to hold the clamp about a quarter of an inch from the end of the line. And then I'll install the fuel filter into the line. like that. And I'll just insert the fuel filter and fuel line back into the tank. And 
Auto just reinstalled the air filter and air filter cover. And that's all it takes to replace the fuel line grommet on an Echo trimmer. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. <laughs>